I'm Meg Lanning and I'm here today to walk you through how I play the cover drive. Yeah, the cover drive's pretty important, especially as an opening batter. You want to play really straight early on, so the cover drive sort of allows you to, to hit through the field with power, but at the same time, play straight and not take, take too much risk. The cover drive is one of my favourite shots and it's it's one of those ones where you, when you hit it perfectly, um, yeah, I suppose it gives you a bit of confidence in your innings and puts the bowler on the back foot a bit. They bowl a pretty good ball, but if you're able to hit that for four, then that um, certainly puts you on the front foot. Yeah, generally the ball's got to be quite full and depending on how full it is, it means how hard you can hit it. So if it's a bit short of a length, you probably just need to check your drive a little bit, just push at the ball, whereas if it's a bit fuller, you can, you can play a bit stronger and really hit through the line to, to really get to the boundary. In your batting stance, you want to be quite relaxed. Uh, you don't want your weight on your toes or on your heels, quite pretty much in the middle of your feet. When the, the ball is coming, generally when you play a cover drive, it is a little bit wider, so you want to get your foot towards the line of the ball, but you don't want to go too far across that you really close off access to the ball. So it's important that you go towards the line of the ball, but also allow enough room for you to swing through and actually hit the ball with power. A cover drive is something you can you can play off a good ball. Yeah, generally when um, I play the cover drive, I am looking to hit it for four, and especially early in the innings as an opening batter, there's the field's up and, and it gives you a good chance to get the ball through, but you, you really don't have to swing too hard to get the ball to the boundary. It's one of those ones where you can literally just swing the bat through the line of the ball and you will get enough power to get the ball to the boundary. So the bowler might think that they bowled a pretty good ball, but if you can hit that for four, then that certainly gives you the confidence heading into your innings. So with your, your length of stride, it's, it's really important that you don't take too big a step, because if you do take too big a step, you, your weight's going to be backwards, and, and more likely than not, you're going to hit the ball in the air. So, you know, on the other hand, if you take too short a step, your weight's probably going to be over the front, and it's going to be really hard to, to time your shot. So. It's sort of an in-between sort of step, it's sort of not too big but not too small. It's something that feels comfortable but you're in a pretty relaxed position and you're balanced so you've got a really good base to play the shot. So it's important that you hit, you, you know, you take your step forward, your head's pretty much in the middle and, and over the line of the ball and then you'll be able to swing through because you've got that really good base to start from. Yeah, ideally your front elbow is, is going to stay as high as possible so um, that means that your, your bat comes through nice and straight and, and ideally your, your bat sort of stays on an angle when hitting the ball on the ground. Um, just allows the ball to, to hit, the, hit the bat at that point, that means the ball's going to stay on the ground and not go in the air. One of the best things about the cover drive is that you can adjust to things um, just by the, you know, the way in which you attack the ball. So if the ball is really full and, and it's not moving too much, you can swing through the line pretty confidently and um, really put some power into it, but if if the ball is moving around a bit and you, you know it is, then you, you really just adjust how hard you swing. So you can hit the ball quite well, literally by just blocking the ball. So you don't need to swing too hard all the time. So you just need to adjust to the conditions. If it's moving around a little bit, then maybe pull back a little bit and, and really play nice and late. But if the, the wicket's really good and the ball's not moving and the ball's up there, certainly have a crack at it. It's something that we do a lot of is, is getting someone to underarm the ball to you so it's really good for your balance because if you're, you're not balanced then you're not going to be able to play the shot properly because it's that, that little bit slower. Pretty much about halfway down the wicket um, and they're going to gonna throw it bouncing once or twice, it doesn't really matter but it just really allows you to practice the shot a little bit slower than you probably would in a game. It, it allows you to think about where you're putting your foot you know, and how your, your bat's coming through and, and swinging through. So, um, that's a good way that, that we train, uh, especially early in the season, just to get a feel for how the, shot, how the shot goes and then once you feel more comfortable with that you can move on to a, a ball machine and um, place the ball where, where you want and it's a little bit more realistic and once you sort of get the hang of those two you can move on to the bowlers and uh, see how you go against them. Thanks very much for watching today, hopefully some of the tips I've given you can help you throughout the season.